Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. Please subscribe followed by the bell. So, with the buzz around S25 Ultra leaks heating up, it's the perfect time to get excited about Samsung's next flagship. Trying to decide if you should grab the S24 Ultra now or wait for the S25 Ultra? Leaks suggest the new model will have a cooler design and some awesome new features. If you're into cutting-edge tech and sleek designs, the S25 Ultra might just be worth the wait. Tipster Ice Universe has shared that the Galaxy S25 Ultra is getting a 50MP ultra-wide camera with a brighter f1.9 aperture lens. This is a big step up from the 12MP ultra-wide on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It should bring a noticeable improvement, especially for close-up macro shots. Autofocus is something I always look for in ultra-wide mobile cameras, and it's surprising how many brands skip this feature. It should be able to record in 4K at 60 frames per second and 8K at 30 frames per second, just like the S24 Ultra's 5X telephoto camera. S25 Ultra leaks also mention that while the new 50MP sensor will be the same size as the 12MP one in the S24 Ultra, each pixel will shrink from 1.4M to 0.7M. Though smartphone cameras have improved in low light, ultra-wide lenses still tend to lag behind. This is often due to primary cameras having bigger sensors, wider apertures, and pixel binning. Samsung could fix this with a lower resolution mode, larger f1.9 aperture, which would capture 34% more light than the S24 Ultra's f2.2, improving low-light performance. This upgrade would bring Samsung's ultra-wide camera closer to Apple's iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max, which jumped from 12MP to 48MP. However, Apple didn't increase the aperture, keeping it at f2.2. Also, the iPhones still don't support 8K video recording despite the new higher resolution sensors. The Galaxy S25 Ultra's biggest design change is the flat sides. On the S24 Ultra, only the top and bottom were flat, with slightly rounded sides. Now, all four sides are flat. Some customers miss the curved edge screen and want it back. But that doesn't mean Samsung should ditch this new flat design. Why not offer both? A flat and a curved version of the Ultra, like they did with the S6 and S6 Edge back in the day. Once again, the Galaxy S25 Ultra will come with a 5000 mAh battery and support fast charging up to 45W. Just like its predecessors, the Galaxy S24 Ultra, S23 Ultra, and S22 Ultra. That is it guys, without being said let me know your thought in the comment below. And if you are new here please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video, one peace out.